Hi, my name is Grace Helmick and I'm an educational media technician here at the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation at William & Mary. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to use one of the galaxy's most powerful tools, the light board. Remember, in order to use this space or any of the other studio spaces, you will need to complete a reservation request form in order to receive proper training. First, you're going to need to harness the force to be able to turn it on. But I promise you, it's simpler than you think. Once you've powered up the light board, you'll need to use a steely issued USB to insert into the recording box. Trust me, if anyone knows how important it is to remember this guy, it's me. You are now ready to record. You can use the light board for more basics functions, such as seen here, or if you have more complex plans, you can use overlays through a PowerPoint or slides presentation. This requires a bit more setup, but can be useful for intergalactic strategic planning. Just keep in mind that you'll want to use a black background in your overlay and that your image, chart, or graphic learning tool must be small enough to fit you on screen as well. You'll also need to pay attention when drawing on the light board, as certain overlays will cover up your writing more so than others. If you think overlays are for you, schedule an in-person tutorial with a Steely member by using this Google form. And, well, Grogu, I think that's it. There is nothing else to do. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> Don't be like me. Don't forget to use the chem wipes, which are located right beside the light board, to wipe off all of this writing before leaving. And perhaps most importantly, don't forget to stop your recording and download the file to your computer. It's your only hope. All right, Grogu, that's enough for today. Time to go.